Hi everyone. Today we would love to share with you three things that you might find interesting before you make it back to Israel. If you really wanted to taste the taste of Israel and you didn't get to experience it last year, we have a way for you to actually do it from your home. Uh, and that's what we're gonna talk about number one. And number two, we're gonna show you an easy way to learn a little bit of communications here with the locals. And number three, we're gonna show you video and drones from a couple days ago to filmed in the Sea of Galilee. It is overflowing, the water is incredible, and right now is March, which means what you're gonna see is not only gonna look like Israel, it's gonna look like Europe, like Switzerland, it's Sweden, so green and beautiful. Uh, Norway, uh, Russia, Himalayas. No, maybe that's a, well, they're white now. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a stretch, but it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so number one, there is this company called Artsabox. And what they do is they send four boxes every year for those who subscribe to them. Now, by the way, we're not affiliated to them in any way. We, we're not getting anything from this. This is, actually, we ordered one from them for the full price just to see what's inside the box. And what they do is they collect from local agriculturists, local makers, local stores, business owners who make things from soaps to little tastings to uh, spices and games. And it was incredible, wasn't it? We got the Nazareth uh, box. Yes. And yes. It, it had so many things. Yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah, it was it was really wonderful. Like you get this chakshuka spice blend and we actually made one and it was so delicious, yes. isn't it? Wow, and they give you incredible. the recipe with it. And you also get like a soap made by a local girl here in the marketplace in Nazareth, mm -hmm. in the old marketplace. And you get some tea made by a farmer who grows herbs here in Israel. And uh, little nifty things like that that remind you of Israel. You get like a couple of knickknacks and a game Okay, about that was the best Israel. thing. That Wasn't was the it? best we thing. I mean, we played that this one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the coolest thing. I mean, if you if you don't even want to get the taste of Israel, you don't care about food or spices or flavors, and you just got to get that game. It was so cool. It was so yeah. much fun. We played yeah. it in the car. We played it at home. Yeah. When the stream meets the Dan stream, it forms the Jordan River. When the stream Hermon, Hermon stream. To Banias. Hermon stream. Yeah. Yay! I'm for it. <laughs> Fun! <laughs> Thank you. So we really recommend, if you are into that, to subscribe to them. We tried the Nazareth box, but they have different cities. Yeah, they have Bethlehem and now, Jerusalem, and it's yes. coming up Galilee. I wonder what's going to be in Galilee. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, subscribe if you want to, and enjoy the tastes and things of Israel while you cannot make it here just yet. Yes. Okay, number two I wanted to share with you is how to communicate with the locals here. So if you're coming to Israel or planning to come to Israel ever in the future, Big chances are you're gonna meet people not just who speak Hebrew, but also Arabic. A lot of the service here is Arab-speaking people. And so when you go to Jerusalem, especially the old city, it's all Arabic market. If you go to Nazareth, if you go to a lot of places, a lot of Arabic. And so being able to communicate just a little bit with them, say a few phrases, will probably get you better service, but uh, to the most part, will probably encourage the locals that you went that extra effort to learn their language. Which, they will like it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, uh, and so we have a friend. Yes. Her name is Ibtissam. Yes. All right. Yes, and she's doing those short segment videos on YouTube to teach you an um, easy way to speak Arabic. You say, good morning. Sabah al khair. Sabah is morning. Khair is good. This could be a great opportunity for you. Not only if you want to visit the Arabic speaking communities in Israel, but also if you simply desire to learn Arabic altogether or serve somewhere in this region. She's a very sweet lady whom we know personally and completely recommend her and her channel. So reach out to her as she might be open to give private lessons as well. So we really encourage you to check it out, learn a bit of Arabic, so when you come, you'll be able to communicate with the locals and um, impress them with your Arabic that you have learned. Yes, well, so Rhoda speaks fluent Arabic. I speak not fluent Arabic. I actually but don't speak Arabic. Understand I understand well. a few words, but you, you know, watching well. those videos, watching those videos really helped me to like get some understanding of some words. I hear them, it's like, yeah. ah, now it makes sense. And so I, I would argue those videos are even better than Rosetta Stone. I, I'm, I, that's my personal opinion. I have never seen Rosetta Stone or uh, dove into it, but her videos are short, precise on one topic and very easy and repetitive. So uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Check it out, her YouTube channel, Arabic with Ibtissam. 
All right, and that leads us to number three, and that's Rod and I are now filming season five videos, and we went a couple days ago to look and survey the Lake of Galilee and the Sea of Galilee for our upcoming video about Jesus and his ministry in Galilee, yeah. which is just so, so unique. We just can't wait We're to make that video. Very excited. We're doing a research yes, about it. Yes, yes. It's and taking so, a while. <laughs> yeah, and, so, and so this day's Galilee looks absolutely incredible. Susita. So we went to Susita, which is the place we filmed uh, a while ago, and you can see a video about it. But these days it is all green. It looks like Switzerland, and the lake is so full that Bethsaida, the episode we've done about the Church of the Apostles, is still underwater. Sadly, because this means they cannot continue archaeology this year. Uh, but hopefully it will dry out, or maybe they'll pump the water out and find a way to continue archaeology. But Wow, is is Galilee beautiful these days? It's so green. It's just so gorgeous, isn't it? it just is. like being especially on the top mountains and imagine Jesus mm. praying there and looking upon the lake. Mm. It's just it just gives you a warm feeling in the heart. It does. Well, uh, we hope you enjoy this, guys, and we hope that you will check out those two other things we mentioned that could be really, really cool for this time, uh, this year. And uh, we hope to see you next time in our next video in about a couple of weeks or so. So until then, God bless you, and... The best is yet to come. <laughs>